our last video for this paper. Marius wants to buy a new laptop. He studied the available data for the three most popular brands of laptops sold in South Africa. The box and whisker plot, so that's what these are, you should be able to recognize what that means, show in percentages the spread of the market share. Market share basically means how much of the market, right, out there do they own, right, or do they kind of like capture, and I'll speak to that in a bit more detail now, of the Samsung, Apple, and Huawei laptop brands from the fourth quarter in 2019 to the third quarter in 2020. Okay, so box and whisker plots. So Huawei, right, um, remember the box and whisker, this would be your minimum, that would be your maximum. This is what we call quartile one, that's what we call quartile three. This one's quartile two, but can also be called my median, which means the middle. Okay, so here it's saying the median of Huawei, its market share is 21.5%. Okay, so that is the middle value for Huawei. The middle value for Samsung is 17,75. The median or middle value for Apple is 13,15. Okay, so this is basically showing you the maximum and minimum over that period of time. Okay, from the fourth quarter in 2019 to the third quarter in 2020. So this is where it was at its max. That's where it was at its min. We don't know when in time that was, but it's over that period of um, that interval. Then it says, use the box and whisker plots above to answer the questions that follow. Write down the name of the most popular the most popular laptop brand. You wouldn't have thought that was a difficult thing to say. Okay, so it's saying, which is the one with the highest market share? Well, you should see from this, right, that it's Huawei, right? That's what they're wanting you to see. Now, it's a little bit more of a more complex um, box and whisker than we generally see, but it's the last question of the paper, so you should be thinking you have a little bit of a challenge. So it is going to be, well, yeah, I spelled that wrong. Huawei. It seems like there's too many vowels in there. Okay. Then it says, hence, write down the 50th percentile, right? The 50th percentile is the same as the median, right? So don't let that freak you out, or Q2, right? Now, oh, that Q looks like, okay. Percentile of the brand identified in question 5.2.1A. So what's the median? What's the mid um, middle value? It's 21.5%. Five percent, right? That middle value there. So don't just say twenty-one comma five, right? It tells you specifically that it's in percentages. So put in the correct unit, right? Don't mess around. Five point two point two calculates the interquartile range. Now, what is the interquartile range? It's quartile three minus quartile one. You should know that of the Samsung brand. So there's my quartile three. There's my quartile one. So I say 18.75 minus 15.7. You should be able to do that in your head. If you're not, or if you're a little bit tired by this stage, and that's okay, we all get tired, right? Your answer here is 3.05, not 3.05 by itself, percent. Okay, remember it's important to keep your um, units in so that you actually indicate what you're talking about. Last question. Okay. Then it says, a data analyst, a analyst claims that 75% of the data set of Apple, right, this Apple, was less than 16%. Explain whether or not the statement is valid. Okay. Now, quartile 3 is the same as 75%. Okay. Quartile 2 is the same as 50%. And quartile 1 is the same as 25%. So over here, quartile 3, which is talking about 75%, is 15,95%. Now you could be saying, Molly, what are you talking about? You're talking about all these percentages, okay? So basically, everything below 15,95%, okay? So everything below there, okay, says accounts for 75% of all the data points that we have on Apple, okay? So between here and here, that's just 25%, right? Why? Because between here and here is 75%. Okay, so you could be saying, oh, that's a lot of percentages, which is why they did this. So you're working with all these different percentages. Here, I'm talking about percentages of the data that we have. These percentages are the actual data points that we do have, right? So make sure that you understand the difference. So here it says data analyst claims that 75% of the data set of Apple was less than 16%. 16%. Well, it's true because 
we know that quartile 3 equals 15.95%, which is the 70 is which is seven the seventy-fifth percentile. Okay, so Q3 equals 15.95%, which is the 75th percentile. Therefore, you have to say it's true because it specifically says explain whether or not his statement is valid. Therefore, you say it's true or it's valid, and then you get your two marks and you have done spectacularly. Well done on finishing the paper.